Hey, it's Henry from Exceptional Marketer. And today I want to talk to you about why it's so important that you never waste a visitor, any visitor of your traffic. Let's face it, traffic costs a lot of money. It's very, very expensive to use to, to advertise. And you want to get your money's worth out of your ads. You want to make sure that you're effectively reaching every single person who sees your ad. So you never want to waste a visitor. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. We're back here looking at our mass traffic blueprint. This is the blueprint for traffic. There are three sections here. We talked about this before. There is getting traffic, where you use these different methods to get traffic. There's fast results traffic, which is traffic within 24 hours to 48 hours. There's strategic scale, which is the next step above that. And then there's domination, which is the final step. And I already did a video on domination. Uh, you can take a look at that video. It's called Dominate in Any Niche. Now, what we're talking about today, what I want to talk to, about, to you about today is the managed traffic. This is the second section. Now, this is what you do after you've initially gotten traffic. You, you, you're sending your visitor somewhere. So what happens at that point? Well, what we do in this section is we immediately send this traffic to a landing page. Now, why do we send them to a landing page? Well, the, the goal of a landing page is really two goals to a landing page, and it can be done in one page or it can be done in two pages. And the two goals are, A, you want to get an email address. You want to build your subscriber list. And B, is you want to pre-sell the individual that's coming to your list, to your page. Somebody has an interest in what you've advertised, you want to pre-sell them and warm them up a little bit. Now you can do that on one page where you have the pre-sell information and you ask them to give you an opt-in information, or you can do it on two pages. You can have a bridge page, which is does all the pre-selling, have them click on a button, which then takes them to an opt-in page. Once they opt in, they can go further to wherever else in your funnel you want them to go. Now, why is it so important to have a mailing list? Well, think about this for a minute. You ever hear of a company called Skype? Now, Skype is a free service. You don't have to pay for Skype to use it. And Skype has millions of users. So how does Skype pay its bills? And what makes Skype a valuable asset? Well, the answer is their mailing list or their customer list. Skype has a list of customers. That list is where all their value is. Really, the same thing is true with Facebook. Facebook has huge lists of people. They have information about all those people. Uh, Google, Google is the same thing. How about Amazon? Amazon, you know, if you click on Amazon, they'll show you something you looked at before because they know who you are because they've got these lists. They manage their list very, very carefully. And that list turns out to be their biggest asset because you can you can market over and over to your list. That's why it's such a huge asset. But let's think about this. <clears throat> what happens when you market? Let's take a look at this graph. You're marketing. So let's say you spend $100,000. It, it doesn't have to be $100,000. It can be any amount. And you it costs you a dollar to get a visitor. So you would get 100,000 visitors. That's a dollar a visitor or whatever it is. It could be a thousand, it could be 5,000, could be a hundred. You send them to your landing page. LP here is landing page. Now you ask them to opt in. The ones that do opt in drop down here and they end up on your list. So let's assume that you have a very good opt-in rate of 30%. So you've got 100,000 people who saw your message and came here. And 30% of them, which is 30,000 people, subscribe to your list. You now have a list of 30,000 subs. That's really very good. You can market to 30,000 people. But you had 70,000 people right here who left. That means 70% of your traffic went away. That also means of the $100,000 you spent, $70,000 of it earned you nothing. It got you a visitor who walked away from you. So in essence, 
you've earned nothing for that $70,000. Now you may say, okay, I got 30,000 visitors. So cost me for $100,000, cost me $3.33 to get a visitor. Not bad. Well, the answer is really not good because you've also spent money for these 70,000 visitors. And we, the rule is we never waste a visitor. So what are you going to do with these 70,000 people that walked away? What you're going to do is something called retargeting. Now, the way retargeting works is that when somebody comes to this page, you can attach yourself to that individual. You do that by way of a pixel, a pixel, just a small piece of code, which you place on this page. Now, you get the retargeting pixel mainly from one of two places, either from Google or Facebook. You can retarget with either one of them. You can get a pixel from either one or both, which is recommended. You get that pixel, you place it on your landing page. Now they have a record of everybody who came to your landing page. And you can say, well, I got 30,000 people that signed in. They're now on my list. I can do business with those people. But the other 70,000 people are still within your control. They're now on your retargeting list, either in Google or Facebook. Now, of the two, Google is better. And I'll tell you why. Google is better because of the intention of the, of the person using that platform. When people go on Facebook, it's really more of a social platform. They want to socialize with their friends. They want to talk about the movie they saw or the vacation they took. They're not looking to buy anything. With Google, when people go to Google, they're searching and they're searching for a, an answer to a problem, to a question they have. They need a solution. So those people are a higher quality uh, prospect for a marketer. Now, what happens when Google and Facebook now have these big retargeting lists? You now have potentially 70,000 people on that retargeting list, say with Google. What do you do then? Well, what you do then is at some point in time, could be right away, it could be later on, but at some point in time, you go to Google and Google has something they call a display network. This is a network of who knows how many websites, could be millions of websites, where you can place display ads and Google will place them for you. You can design the display ad, have somebody else design it. You can even use a banner from the, uh, from the, from the uh, uh, creator of the product you're marketing as an affiliate. And you ask Google, to take those banners and place them in front of the people on this retargeting list. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever gone to a site, looked at an ad, and then clicked away from it, and then gone to another website and seen an ad for the exact same thing you just saw? And this could go on for days or even weeks. Well, my friend, you're being retargeted. You're, you, you're, you placed a pixel. There's a pixel placed on a page which now tracks you. Now. What's the advantage of that? What do you do there? Well, all these ads here, all these banners, you will use them to either send the people back to your landing page because they came there once before, they have an interest in it, and you will remind them of exactly why they came there, or you can send them to a variation of this landing page, again, promoting the same product. But you have not lost any of these people. Now. What happens here with this retargeting? Well, you got to pay for this. This is a paid ad. Now, remember here, you spent $100,000. That's a dollar per click, for example, or a dollar per visitor. The cost for retargeting ads is pennies on the dollar. It's extremely effective and it's extremely cheap. See, right now, if 30,000 people sign up on your list, it's costing you $3.33 per visitor. Well, what happens if through retargeting, I'm going to pick a number, it could be any number, but through retargeting, what if you get another 30,000 people to your list and say that cost you $10,000? So now your total cost is $110,000 and you've got 60,000 people on your list. 
Well, you've dropped your cost per sub, per subscriber to less than $2. So retargeting will lower your cost of acquiring people. So this is why you must retarget. And you, can, you don't need to have a million people on a retargeting list. You can start retargeting immediately. As a matter of fact, you should. Anytime you run an ad to the, any landing page, you must put retargeting pixels on that page because otherwise you're going to be losing money. You're going to be wasting money on those people who never, uh, who never opted in. They just came to your page, they had an interest, and then they went away. So you've lost them forever. So you must retarget any time you run an ad. You may not want to start a retargeting campaign until you've got a thousand people to do it to. As a matter of fact, Facebook and Google may even have limitations as to the minimum amount of people on your list before you can even retarget. But retargeting is a very, very valuable strategy. As a matter of fact, it is a must. If you don't do it, you're, you're just throwing money away. So that's the gist of this video. If you found the video to be of interest, please uh, subscribe, click on the subscribe button, click on notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which I do on a regular basis. Also, if you'd like to get a, uh, uh, access to the Mass Traffic Blueprint course, this is a course. You can get this course for free. At one time, it sold for $1,497. You can get it for free now for a limited time. It is in the first link in the description below this video. So if you'd like to get your hands on the Mass Traffic Blueprint, you can click on the first link below the video and you'll get immediate access to the Mass Traffic Blueprint. So until next time, go out there and don't forget to retarget everybody. And remember, never waste a visitor. Best of luck.